In a little over two years from now, in 2024, the first electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or EVATOLs as they're called by those in the know, should be in commercial service, providing a new way to move people and things around. Some are saying it will deliver a revolution in public transportation, representing a cleaner, quieter way to fly in and out of places that current aircraft can't reach. And Joby Aviation is one of these EVATOL revolutionaries. Today is the beginning of the electric age of aviation. That's what we've been seeing over the last 10 years. And so the reason you're seeing so many people announce uh, being in this space is because technology uh, has gotten to the point where we can electrify aviation. One of those important things is advanced air mobility. And at Joby, we've been doing this for 10 years. So we've been developing our aircraft, maturing this vehicle to bring it to, to market over the last 10 years. The new approach hasn't happened overnight and it's based at least as much on hard work as any kind of secret source. The Evatol contenders have some different characteristics, but it's the scale of investment and commitment to preparing every aspect of how the new aircraft will operate that seemed likely to set the winners apart. Like some of its rivals, Joby intends not only to design and build its Evatol aircraft, but also operate and market air taxi services as well. So at Joby, we're a very, very vertical company. So we're designing and certifying an all-electric airplane that's piloted, um, that can also take off and land vertically. Uh, we're also the commercial operator. So at Joby, we're the part 135 commercial operator that's going to fly that aircraft. Um, and then in addition, we have an app that we're gonna integrate, and that's gonna be really the forward-facing piece. So the consumer's going to have an opportunity to look at like the Uber app or the Joby app, and request a ride. If you were to look at the Uber app, you would see various choices, Uber Black, Uber X, Uber Air, and, and that Uber Air segment might be something that links into Joby. And so the idea would be a seamless trip. You'd be picked up at your house by a car, taken to your local airport or heliport or skyport, and then the aircraft would be there to connect you to the location you're trying to get to, which might be right where you're trying to end up, very, very close, or potentially there'll be a car there to finish your trip, and there'll be one seamless button push uh, to do that. Joby's been working on the aircraft for just over a decade and is now involved in flight testing that it hopes will lead to certification by the FAA. So we pulled in core engineers to develop our powertrain. So our, our motors, we have aviation grade motors. We spent a long time developing with a really amazing team of engineers. Uh, batteries that we developed in-house, battery modules and, and battery packs that we developed in-house that are aviation grade that meet very specific requirements of the FAA. Um, high power electronics, so we perfected all that. We also at the same time brought on engineers to develop our integrated airframe that takes advantage of the capabilities of electric aircraft. We have systems folks that developed our fly-by-wire systems and, the, and it integrated that into a way that's very, very easy to fly. And so all that work, that's a lot of effort, and we've been doing that for a long time very, very quietly. And the result is we've been flying full-size aircraft since about 2017, and we've got um, over 1,000 flights now that we've done. Uh, I think some of the most monumental flights, we've done a flight over 150 miles and landing with a reserve on board. We've done many, many flights that transition back and forth. Uh, it's pretty commonplace uh, nowadays for us, um, including some, some flights at really quite high speed. Development work means testing aircraft to the limits in order to ensure that all safety parameters can be met. In fact, one of Joby's prototypes recently suffered an accident. There were no injuries and no pilot was on board, and the accident is now being investigated in the normal way by the US National Transportation Safety Board. The company has a second prototype and plans to build more as type certification approaches. Beyond that, it's preparing to be ready to start full-scale production with some significant help from its partner, the Japanese car maker, Toyota. So in aviation, being able to have a approved production system through the FA is really important. And we've spent a lot of time making sure we have the right people, the right quality systems in place to do that. And in parallel, we have amazing partners like our partnership with Toyota uh, that helps us work towards what future scaling of aviation production can look like. Today, we have facilities in Marina, California that have been designed to build a good number of aircraft a year, um, but we're using technologies that can scale up um, pretty drastically. So we're, 
We're not, um, we haven't sized that facility for, uh, for only the, the number of aircraft that'll come off that production line. We've actually sized it to really scale up. So we're using equipment and capabilities that can be put in parallel and really scaled quickly. Soon, Joby hopes to secure the Part 135 certificate it needs from the FAA to start commercial operations. It knows it will need to recruit pilots and other professionals at a time when the aviation sector is still dealing with a skills shortage. But it believes that so-called advanced air mobility will prove to be an attractive career move. Our aircraft's been designed for existing airplane pilots and existing helicopter pilots to take a pretty simple transition course. So if you're an existing commercial airplane pilot or existing commercial helicopter pilot, you can take like a course that's roughly two weeks in magnitude um, that will safely prepare you to fly the aircraft and, and then to um, operate that aircraft on Joby's 135. So when you think about where the pilot populations exist today, the air transport pilots that begin at 1,500 hours and up um, are in huge demand, and we're trying to grow those folks as, as much as possible. New pilots come online and they get somewhere around 250 to 500 hours, and they have their commercial rating, and they need to build time to that point, to the 1,500 hour point. So this space is a tremendous opportunity because in Part 135 operations, uh, you can fly um, with uh, 500 hours or more, you're able to fly on a VFR 135 operation. Um, in addition, some of the pilots that may decide they're ready to retire from the airlines are certainly eligible to fly um, with an amazing amount of experience, uh, provided they have the medical requirements met. Um, they have an amazing amount of experience and it's a wonderful opportunity for, for, for those folks. I'll tell you, like one of the things I always think about is, um, this is how I want to end my career. I want to go and spend my time uh, flying a Joby aircraft on some wonderful island route somewhere. I think that, I think we'll all be competing for these kind of uh, jobs. Now Joby is one of several hundred companies working to bring new electric and highly automated aircraft to market. AIN's futureflight.aero platform brings you news and information about all of these, keeping you posted on who's reshaping aviation and how that's going to happen. You can sign up to receive our free newsletter each week at futureflight.aero. And thanks for watching this video.